Today we're going to review the C560 Ice Shelter made by Clam. The C560 shelter by Clam is a thermal ice hub. That means that the walls of the outside of the ice shack are actually thicker. This makes it so that it'll absorb, it'll obtain heat a lot better than your normal fabric shack. The C560 is a four-sided shack. There are four different walls that you could sit on or fish off of. The C560 ice shack will hold about three to four people conveniently. We've we've had about I think. I've had five in here before, but it's very tight and not very as convenient. So you're going to max out at about three or four people. Three foot people is very comfortable in this C560 ice shack. There's around 56 square feet of fishable ice area in the C560 ice shack. On Clam's website, it says it takes about 60 seconds to set up the ice shack. Um, it says it's perfect for a group of friends or family and sets up in about 60 seconds. Now I'm assuming that that means that all the people in the family are helping to set it up. So let's see how long it takes for one person to set up the ice 560 clam shelter. Some people might say it takes a while, but... It takes but a few minutes to set up the new Clam C560 Thermal Insulated Shelter. Okay, so yeah, that didn't take quite as long as I thought it was gonna. Um, I thought it was gonna take maybe four or five minutes, but that didn't seem to take as long as I thought it was gonna. One thing I do like about them outside of this ice shack, ice shelter, is that it is that thermal fabric and stuff, so that makes it just a little bit better as far as wind noise when I'm filming or something of that sort. So if you are thinking about using it, as something that you're going to want to film or have like some audio inside it's beautiful because can you hear any wind maybe just like a little little bit but as far as um you know being from outside in to inside or having that fabric flap around this tent is amazing as far as noise reduction goes there are four windows um on each side of the ice shack as well as two doors on opposite sides of the ice shack. Um, pockets all around the bottom side of the uh, of the shack here to store anything you need, um, lures, just about anything. If you need to throw your phone in there real quick, you can do that as well. There are also storage above the ice shelter on the top. Um, that's good for lights or anything of that sort that you're needing to light your shack with at night. Um, maybe there's something up there like a, I don't know, you could probably mount a camera up there too if you wanted, something of that sort. Two vents are located on opposite sides of the shack. I usually like to have those open if I do have a propane heater running. Um, they don't put off like hazardous amounts, I don't believe, of, any th of CO2 or O2 or whatever the heck. But uh, it's just to be safe, I like to have them open. It doesn't let that much cold air in, so that works out perfect. There's a lot of fishable space in this, in this ice shack, as I said before. There's about 56 square feet of fishable area in this shack. You can tell I have both of my sleds inside here, my auger, a camera over here, the heater, my little fishing area with five holes drilled, and I'm still comfortable. I'm walking around a little bit. That's the one thing that I really, really like about this shelter compared to any other, even some like ice uh, shelters that are flip over. They just don't have the space that these type of shelters are gonna have. Now, a lot of people say that it's just not worth it to have to set it all up like it is. It's way more worth it to have a sled with the ice shack popping out of it. And I agree, I think that those work very good in certain situations, but in my in particular situation, I need to have a shack that's big enough to hold two, three, four of my friends fishing, as well as having a tripod on a camera, having multiple camera angles set up inside of the shack, as well as storing all my stuff inside it. So all in all, for the space and for the price, I don't think you can beat the C560 Clam Ice Shelter. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these reviews, 
hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. I have a lot of products that I can do these these reviews on. I just haven't chose to. Um, let, like I said, let me know down in the comments below if you guys like these reviews and you want me to do more. It only takes but about a few minutes to set up the H. It only takes... Today we're going to review the C560 Ice Shelker. Ice Shelker. Ice Shelker. Made by Clamp. Ice Shelter reviewed... C560 shelter by Clam is a thermal ice hub. That means that there is more warmth that is going to...